What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about buying your first gun. mistakes that new gun owners make uh, you're more than welcome to go back in and check that out it's a pretty interesting video I talk about a lot of good things but I the reason I want to talk about this is I've been in a few gun stores lately I'm not gonna sit here and name them or anything like that I'm not trying to talk bad about them in any way shape or form but you need to be careful I, no, I shouldn't say you need to be careful. Before you go and buy your first gun, I would recommend talking to a credible firearms instructor. Now, I don't mean Billy Bob that lives down the road and owns 50 guns and showed you a couple of things when you were down there shooting. I mean a reputable firearms instructor that teaches day in and day out and goes himself or herself and learns day in and day out and is and they immerse themselves into the industry to me that is going to be your best starting point because that is going to be probably the most biased opinion that you're going to get when it comes to buying your first gun. Um, even if it's somebody that's uh, sponsored by a particular manufacturer or something like that, they're still going to be biased in how they talk to you about their gun. Now they're probably going to try to recommend you know what or whoever they're sponsored by but that's really going to be your best starting point. Don't just go into a gun shop or a gun store um, and, and start there. And nothing against what those guys do. Now there are a few shops out there that do have very good instructors that work for them. So if that's the case, then by all means go in and talk to them. But it, it's few and far between that you find a gun shop that has firearms instructors in there actually selling guns. They are out there. I have met them. I know a few of those people there. They're great people to go and talk to. Um, or, you know, even some of your gun smiths or even firearms instructors. So start with a firearms instructor. Um, I really wish people would come and talk to me or somebody out there before they go and buy their first gun. I can't tell you. How many people show up to um, one of my one-on-one classes or my two-on-one classes and they've gone, they come, or even a CWP class, and they look at me and they're like, hey, I just got this gun yesterday. And then we get down there and start shooting it, and it's like, boy, I, I really don't like this gun. And, you know, I'll start talking to them, and they're like, well, that's what they recommended that I buy. And, you know, then I start talking to them more and finding out exactly what they're looking at doing, what they're planning on doing, if they're going to carry concealed, or if they're keeping it in their home or in their vehicle, whatnot. You know, there's a lot of questions that I ask that I don't think a lot of your gun shops uh, will ask you. Um, so please go to a firearms instructor first when you're talking about buying your first gun. I actually have a... Um, intro to firearms class where I'm pretty much going to give you a couple of different calibers 
a couple of different manufacturers, let you shoot them and let you see what you like. Um, which leads me into my second thing. Go and shoot the freaking gun before you buy it. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many people show up or call me or message me and they're like, look, I just bought this gun, I don't like it, you know, what, what, what can I do, blah, 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 because guns aren't like a VCR, oh God, I said a VCR, Jesus, I don't even think they make VCRs anymore, but guns aren't like, you know, a piece of electronic or an appliance or anything like that where you, if you don't like it, you can go and return it. Now, one good thing about guns is they do hold their resale value as long as you keep them in good condition. So if you get it and you don't like it, there's somebody out there that will buy it. Trust me. There's somebody out there that will buy it. If not, go and take it with you. See if you can trade it and make a swap. You know, maybe you have to put a little bit of money with it. Maybe you don't. But it, it just... It amazing. I mean, you go and test drive a car before you, well, I shouldn't say that. Some people don't. The majority of people will go and test drive a car before they buy it. So why wouldn't you test drive the gun before you buy it? I mean, come on now. It only makes sense. You know, I'll be honest. There's, I've watched reviews on certain guns and everybody raves about how great it is and how wonderful it is. And then I actually go and find somebody that has it or find a range that has it for rent. And I shoot it and I'm like, not really for me so just because it's good for somebody doesn't mean it's good for you so please please go and shoot the gun before you buy it find somebody that you know that has one that'll let you shoot it or majority of I shouldn't say majority but some of your gun shops uh, will have some of your common guns uh, for you to be able to rent and go out on their range and shoot it so please go and shoot the gun before you buy it. Do not shoot that gun before, or do not just not shoot the gun, I should say. I'm getting a little tongue tied here. Shoot it before you buy it. All right, the last thing. Don't automatically go and buy the gun and then start going, oh, I gotta put this on here. And, I need to swap this barrel out. I got to put this trigger in here and this magwell and this optic and that and this and that. Buy the gun, learn how to operate the gun in its factory form. Once you become proficient with it and confident with it, then get in there and start doing things to it. Put the trigger, springs, barrels, magwell, or flared magwells optics, you know, whatever you want to do to it, all right? Don't just automatically go and do that, especially if you're a new gun buyer, all right? That, that's another thing that people make a lot of mistakes doing is they go and do all this and they don't get proficient with it in its factory form and just automatically think, you know, they'll shoot it one time and think, well, I got this, you know, it's the trigger causing me to do this when it's something they really need to learn more about themselves, more about the fundamentals, and more about the gun before they just start, you know, swapping things around. I know some of this stuff is probably going to make some people mad. You know, that, that's not my intentions. I just want to have an honest conversation and just kind of talk about, you know, what you need to do as a new gun buyer. Or let's, whether, whether it be a new gun buyer or you're buying a new platform for the first time. So let's say you got handguns and you want to get a rifle. You're looking at an AR or an AK. Or you've got a rifle and you want to get a handgun or a shotgun, whatever it might be. Talk to the instructors. Shoot the gun before you buy it. Don't make changes to it until you've ran it through its paces and you've gotten comfortable and confident and proficient with it. All right? I cannot stress this stuff enough. Really, the first two are really the biggest things I want to touch on. All right? Don't just automatically go into the gun shop and think they're going to make the best recommendation for you. They might have a high demand of a certain gun, and, you know, they've been given, you know, and 
directive of we need to try to push this gun and try to get some of this inventory out or they're got this promo on this gun or this promo on that gun or whatever might be going on you know they're they're there to to make money and sometimes their priority of making the money might not meet the priority of what's going to be best for you so please please find a good instructor talk to them before you just go and buy a gun and then the other thing is shoot the freaking thing before you go and buy it to make sure it's going to fit you and that you're going to like it all right so out of everything I've talked about, again, two things. Talk to an instructor, shoot the gun before you buy it, all right? Trust me, whatever gun you're looking at, I'm sure there's somebody out there that will have it for you to shoot, or you can find it at a gun shop or a gun range that will allow you to rent it and go and shoot it. Please just don't stroll right in and wake up tomorrow and go, oh, I'm going to go buy my first gun and just go right into a gun shop. You do your research before you go and buy a car, a gun should be no different. You do your research on a cell phone before you go and buy a cell phone, a gun's no different. All right? So do your research, talk to people, shoot them before you go and buy them. Again, huge thank you to all my subscribers, everyone for watching. If you're new to the channel or just finding this video, please go down and click the subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can get notified when we upload other great videos. We've got great stuff coming. We're going to start doing a lot better getting out more content. So be on the lookout and please continue to like, comment, share, and just help get the word out. I cannot tell you all how much I appreciate all your support and comments and likes and shares and all that stuff. And also, thank you to my sponsors, Get Right Personal Training with Mickey Campbell, uh, Mike Lau with Lau Welding and Carolina Grills, and also Bob Gotts and his son with Up, our UAG Custom Shop, which Upstate Armory Group Custom Shop is what UAG stands for. All their links are going to be down in the description below, so you can go in and check them out as well if you need something from one of them. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live.